Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In this video, I want to give a shout out to Angela's Dooney because she started the tag, and then Dooney Addict 615 did the tag and tagged me. So the tag was to do the black bag tag or the neutral bag tag, I think is how it's worded. When I tell you <laughs> these tags are fun, but they require a lot of work. So first off, I had to narrow down, okay, am I gonna do black or neutral? So Dooney at 615 did black. So I said, okay, well I can do neutral and then somewhere down the line, maybe eventually do the black, depending on how much work it was gonna require. <laughs> I'ma just tell y'all, Dooney at 615, her video, I was like, she had to pull out all those bags and then you got to pull them all back up. Then when she tagged me, I said, DJ King got to pull out all those bags and now DJ King got to put them all back up. <laughs> so first off, thank you for tagging me. And I have several to go through. Some you have seen, some you have not. So I'm just going to pull them up. It won't be a review on any of them. It's just to show you what they are. So again, this is the neutral bag tag. First off, I'm going to start out with small pieces and then we'll work our way up. So first off, the um, Coach Nolita 15 and there we go. And the background is chalk, so it's a neutral. And this is like a grab-and-go piece or catch-all piece inside of my neutral bags. The little Nolita 15. Next, my Coach Nolita in the signature in chalk. And it has the, sorry about the glare. The, what do you call them? Debossed signature print in the color chalk. This right here was my most used Alice. <laughs> and I wanted it so bad and it was gifted to me. And I did a video on this. And it is in the color Oyster. And it's Alice. This right here goes with every neutral bag that I'm gonna show you. And again, this is the color Oyster. And it's the Alice Clutch Whistler by Dooney and Burke. Okay, so the tag, like I say, is neutral bags. So let's just jump into those. I'm looking around like, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this bag here is one I remember getting after Mrs. Q did a video inside of a Dillard store, I believe, and I saw this bag in the background and I started searching for it. This is the Antonio Milani in the color Pewter. If I had no other color that was made in this silhouette and by Antonio Milani, I wanted the Pewter. That was number one on my list. I still love this bag. It's big, it, it's similar to the style of the HB Bowery satchel tote, I believe they call it, but this is Antonio Milani. It's vegan leather, very inexpensive bag. So I know once I wear it out and break it down, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to just let it go. But I knew that going in. So far still holding up. Antonio Milani in the color pewter. And it's a big mama bag, I will say that. I think it was 16 inches maybe, uh, 16 inches long. Big mama bag. Love it, love it, love it. Next, the Dooney and Burke duck bag. This bag I use when it's raining outside or it was snowing, which happens very so often. <laughs> but more or less when it rains, I have shoes and boots that go with this, and I believe it's in the color taupe, and this is brown tomorrow. So the Dooney and Burke duck bag. Next, I'll just go ahead and show this just because it was, it's been shown several times. The white Safiano Dooney and Burke Leisure 
very neutral color. You can wear it with whatever color and it pops. I have on like a gold, marigold or mustard yellow top and black and white pants. Could totally rock it with this. You can rock it in the summer, whenever you wanna wear it. Just all white classic bag with the brown at the bottom. Love it, love it. And again, leisure. While I have this one, I'm going to show you another bag that's also a leisure, another neutral, a leisure in the color bone. On camera, you maybe can't tell the difference, so I wanted to put them side by side. It is in the color, let's see. I don't know if it's gonna, because the sun is going down, but it's also doing a glare, but it's in the color bone. And I'm going to put it beside the white. You can kind of see the difference, but this is definitely a brownish undertone. Let's see. So I may have to do a comparison video with these just to show you under different lighting at some point. But this is the white and this is the bone color, which looks like a French vanilla. So leisures, neutrals. Uh, trying to see if it'll yeah I may have to do it in another video so you can see the color difference then I have this baby this is the double strap tassel tote I believe it's called and in the color maybe elephant I've had it for a while so I can't remember I love it because it has the straps like the leisure it has the tassels on the side is the only difference Again, you can see it's similar. Leisure is a little bigger, but similar style. Tote, I am a tote girl, true and true. And Safiano, both of them, and you can tell it's been warm because it's starting to, I need to stuff it, I guess, to get those wrinkles out, but I'm not even worried about that. So another tote and here's all of them. <laughs> white, taupe, and bone. Next, we have Rebecca Minkoff, the Gabby taupe in the color Sand Drift, I believe it was. And it's almost like a taupe color. If I put it up against this one, you can kind of see the difference. Next, this is a bag that my daughter won from the Coach Outlet when they were doing, I believe it was around Mother's Day two years ago. And this means so much to me. And I told her I will forever cherish this because she, she won it and she gave it to me. <laughs> this is the Coach Zoe Carryall. Yes, Zoe Carryall. And this chalk background has the snake skin print all around it on both sides. Next, I have a Anne Klein snake skin print wallet, which is not the same as this one, but I could throw it in there if I wanted to. Next. This was one of my first Dooney and Burke bags, and I have not carried it. This is the Dooney and Burke Large Barlow in the color Desert. I had to have this color, and I'm so glad I got it. It is the only bag I have in Desert, and this is the only one I wanted in Desert. But it is in that city leather. It's the Large Barlow in the color desert. And to put it up against, let's see, you can see the color difference there. So it's a brown, brownish undertone in Dooney and Burke Large Barlow in the color desert. Next, yes, another leisure. 
This is the Dooney and Burt Leisure in the color Oyster. So that's white, bone, oyster, and I guess the elephant color. <laughs> and this is the bone, this is the oyster. Two totally different colors, so they serve a purpose in my collection. But this is the color oyster. And the Oyster Alice, perfect pair with that. Uh, next, Coach Horse and Carriage with the chalk and brown multi horse and carriage prints. Goes with all your neutral bags. Rebecca Minkoff. Next is a bag I have, and I'm waiting to use it soon. It is considered a neutral to me because I can wear it with solid colors. I can wear it with all red, all brown, all black. It is the Dooney and Berg Zebra Red Large Zip Shopper. Love this, love it. <laughs> Another neutral, but the large zip shopper in zebra red. And it has the red trim, red handles, red feet. So a red accessory pops it right out. <laughs> love that, love that, love that. <laughs> and size wise, it's almost the size of the leisure. So it's the large shopper. Next, this is considered a neutral, even though it has multiple colors. This may have been my first Parker, can't remember, but it is the Coach Orchid Multi Parker. Neutral because you have the shade of, I believe they, it might be taupe, I guess, in Coach color on there. Very neutral colors, almost pastelish. But you can wear this with, you can dress it up or dress it down. So I consider it a neutral. Next is one of my favorite styles from Michael Kors. It is the Michael Kors Bedford collection. That collection there, if you missed out on anything Bedford from Michael Kors, <laughs> that was like the best collection ever one second all right so it is the where you go <laughs> the michael kors gold bedford legacy tote and it's a little wrinkled it's pebbled leather not really worried about that <laughs> very nice size tote the bedford collection like i say i mean i love that collection Love it, love it, love it. So this here will be coming out soon. And it is gold all the way around. Oh, I really need to. She was buried up under some stuff. I'm going to have to give her some love. <laughs> but yes, yeah, that gold pebbled leather. And I have some sandals that I'm ready to pull out with this and some sundresses. Be ready to go. And it is in the gold. Next, this bag has been shown on a few channels here lately, Mono's Beauty and Lucinda talked about theirs. I got this bag let me see, a few years ago. And Suz was the first one that ever told me it reminded her of the, I think, Hermes garden party because when it cinches in it the shape is a little different and this is the Dunian Burke Layla my first ever light colored bag in the color bone 
And I had to have this color. This color combination, I love. The color bone, and then you have the Sierra trim. Perfect. I have not carried her yet, but I will be because I kept acquiring other neutral bags and this one kept getting pushed further and further back. But this is the Layla. Love it and I love the look of it like this. It cinches in and kind of gives you the look like the MCM totes. All right, the next neutral is a small piece. It is the Coach wrist lid that was in the quilted and it had the multicolors. Goes with a lot of neutrals here. 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 So, I mean, it's a good neutral accessory to have. Um, let me see what's next. Oh. Next is another one of my favorite silhouettes from Dooney and Burke. I had the large. The large is too north-south. So I went back and got the regular size in different colors because that's what works for me. <laughs> so this bag is the Dooney and Burke City Dawson in the color Bone. Love this. And Bone is like a French vanilla color, so I hope it's not showing up white. But this is the Dooney and Burke City Dawson regular size in the color bone and again trying to get it not to look okay so this is white and this is bone so you can see it's a color difference there size comparison large barlow regular city dawson So the Barlow style has this pretty silhouette. So does the Dawson. Love it, love it, love it. So we have Desert and this is Bone. Um, I think we're getting close to the end. But last but not least is a bag I got after seeing Phenomenal Personality. Back then she was Sonja Covington. <laughs> she showed this bag on her channel. And I remember going to search for it after that and I got it. I know it recently popped back up, I believe in the color gray on the Coach Outlet website. What am I talking about? This is the Coach Parker Carryall in the color Beechwood. This bag here. <laughs> This bag is everything. When she showed this bag and the size of it, I was like, Parker, okay, carry on, okay. So it's it's like having a satchel and a tote mixed in one. But just look at this. It's a nice size. And let me put it up against a Parker. So this is the regular Parker. This is the Parker carry on. See the difference? See the difference? See the difference? <laughs> so I have to do a thorough review on this, but this is the Parker Carry All in the color Beechwood. And this is a fantastic neutral. Very fantastic neutral. <laughs> so this can be year round because the color, it works with everything. Um, let me see. Oh, this bag. 
is the hardest to find bag in this size because it's a big size. This bag here was my very first one in this size. This is the Coach Beechwood Rogue in size 39. This bag is beautiful. I fell in love with the Rogues very late into the game. Missed out on several, especially the 39. I do have the 39 in Oxblood. And then I have this one in this Beechwood. And I know um, uh, Carmen Hawkins has the ivy color. I believe they call it the dark green color. The 39, oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it would be too big for some, but it's the perfect size if you like big bags. And the 30 or 31 size I love because that's what my red and my denim and my saddle one is. But the 39, if I could find it in more colors, and I know the, the artist, oh, if I pronounce the name wrong, is it Bas, Basquiat, Basquiat? The, the artist that just had the rose that featured at Coach, he had some, but the background was Beechwood, and then there was a black one. So the black one had the word famous on it, and then the Beechwood one had, I think, the outline of New York City. I didn't need that one because I already had the Beechwood. And the black one, I could have worn that one. It had the word famous on it. So I mean, DJ King, hey. <laughs> but yes, the Rogue 39 in the color Beechwood. It's pebbled leather on the sides, no suede. So this is chalk here and the Beechwood here. To show it beside the Parker. Two different bags, two different looks. I can dress both up or down, both are nice size. Size comparison, about the same length. Never even knew about this bag until I saw it on uh, Sonja Covington channel. <laughs> Glad I picked it up. And I also have the gray one as well, which is another neutral. But this is the Coach Rogue 39 in the color Beechwood. Another great neutral. And again, I never thought I would be buying light color bags, but 2020 I acquired just about all of these <laughs> except for maybe some of the leisures and the barlows i had before but most of these i got last year so i definitely have completed my neutral collection and i think i have taken everything out and there may have been some other ones that i just i mean i got tired and got hot and sweaty but <laughs> To show you, I can have one wallet that will pair with everything. The, okay. For instance, if you have one neutral wallet, you can pair it with every bag that you have. It goes with everything. It will not go with the zebra print, <laughs> but I definitely have some red, um, I guess you can put two animals together, <laughs> but I have some red accessories. You all already know that, that I'll pair with that. And then I also have a bone tech top pouch, the pouches that I love from Dunia Burke that I use as wallets. I have bone, a gray, a white, and a oyster so i also have those i just didn't bring those out because you all are probably tired of seeing those on my channel <laughs> but here's the parker with this wallet the white leisure with this wallet um let me see the gold with this wallet so this one wallet I can pair with just about all these bags. So again, sorry the video was so long, but I had a lot of neutrals. Didn't realize I had so many. 
but I have small, medium, and larges, have accessories, so I'm definitely good on getting neutral bags. And yeah, I think that's that's it. So if I decide to end up doing the black bag tag, it will not be tomorrow because it'll be a minute before I can put all these back. And I thank you all so much for watching and for everyone that has participated in the tag or that's going to participate in the tag, good luck. Drink you some energy juice or something before you start pulling everything out because you're gonna be tired. <laughs> so again, have a great one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.